All right, I am at a campsite. Got my tent all set up. You know, here's my water bag hanging to purify water. I am uh, currently sitting at mile marker 678. I did a total of 17.4 miles today, so it's not too bad. So I got a long way to go to get to Daleville, but uh, 678, so probably about the day after tomorrow, I should hit the 700 mark. So that'd be pretty good. So a little bit at a time, just pushing on is all I can do. Now I'm going to go through my bag and see what I have for dinner tonight and see what sounds good. And go from there. All right, so tonight we're trying this Nissan Roa, Nissan Ro, how do you say it? King of Ramen. It's like a Japanese style ramen. It's got this little soup package you mix in and this little flavor pouch. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a creamy look, white looking stuff. So let me let this cool for a few minutes and I'll try it and let you know how it is. This stuff is amazing. Oh yeah, this beats regular ramen by, by 10 times easy. The flavor is just phenomenal. I don't know what I was in it, but man, it's good. Definitely going to get this again. All right, so I took one of these little uh, pudding cups. This is a banana cream pie, and in top, I put some little bitty uh, vanilla wafers. Some of these here. And now I have a little uh, banana pudding on the trail. It is so good. Makes a long hike worth it. All right, good morning. It's morning of day 59. I'm at my campsite still, but just leaving. It's a beautiful morning. It's supposed to be nice today, so... I'm going to get some miles in, and I'm going to try to do 19.9. That's the goal, if I can get there. We'll see. So y'all wish me luck. Have a fantastic day. Okay, right off the bat, I come up to this beautiful ridge again. Not too far from where I camped. Sun's coming up. It's beautiful. All right, this is what they call kefir oak, one of the oldest oak trees. I think it's massive. You can't even get my arms around it. Just, you know, it's probably, in circumference, probably 10 foot. If you take a rope and roll around it. This thing is massive. Where I'm walking. Look at this. This is just sweat. I hate these climbs. I don't know what it is, but Virginia is steep. All their hills are like like this, and it's like, man, it's like I'm back to square one. I have to stop taking breaks up from half halfway. Multiple breaks. Found this nice big rock to sit on. And I still gonna climb up all this. So I just want to take a little break and rest. I got a nice little view up here. Beautiful day. Gorgeous. This is much better than the nasty crappy weather. So supposedly there's these things all over the place called Carn, C-A-I-R-N-S. Supposedly built by early farmers, it says on the app. I don't know what it's for or anything else. I have no idea, but it's neat. All right, got a nice little view of this valley. Finally get some views. All right, this is the Eastern Continental Divide. 1,920 to the Gulf of Mexico, 405 to the Atlantic Ocean. Here I am, here at this point. All right, I'm at Niday Shelter, N-I-D-A-Y, and I came here just to have lunch. I'm going to rest for a little while, figure out how many miles I've gone and how many more I want to do. And most of all, just sit and relax. So I come down the trail here to the bottom, and there's Trail Magic. They have popsicles, Sprite, they have hot dogs and fruit snacks, and all kinds of fun stuff. Boy, getting trail magic like that really makes your afternoon. Uh, it's feeling really down today, depressed. Just don't want to hike. I kind of want to get this done and over with. And 
and that kind of makes it a little bit better when you get across stuff like that. Just the idea of knowing I have to get up and hike every day is kind of weighing on me. So, little things like that kind of pick your spirits up a little bit. So, now I got a big climb and onto the shelter. Oh. This climbs are ridiculous. Two mile climb. A little over two, but by 2.2 mile climb to get to the top. Oh, and I'm about uh, by 1.8 away from the top. No, 1.8 I did, so I got three or four tenths to finish. Something like that. Oh, I'm almost there, but I had to take a break. I'm pouring sweat. I probably sweated out every ounce of uh, stuff I need. All the salt and stuff. Drinking water, but I need like some Gatorade or something. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I'm a hot mess. Well, made it to the top. We're 99% of the way. I got this road here, the rest. But I saw this sign Trail Magic, 250 yards, but it's the opposite direction. And I don't really want to walk 250 yards that way and then back this way just for some trail magic. I think I'm going to pass on it. It does sound tempting, but uh, it's a lot. All right, so these two girls came walking by where I was sitting up here on a bench and they said, did you get the trail magic? And I said, no, it's too far to walk 250 yards. I don't want to feel like walking that far. So you really should. It's really good. It's, there's a hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, all kinds of drinks and stuff. So I said, well, I am hungry again. So let me go see what they got. So I went in there and sure enough, they had, I had a hamburger and a hot dog. I had a bag of Doritos. I had two sodas, uh, little Debbie snacks. Um, for those who drink, they even had beer and whiskey. I mean, just all kinds of stuff down there. And I uh, had uh, probably like 10 or 12 pizzas. So it was really, it was really good. Just what I needed to give me some energy for this last little section of the trip. So thank you to those guys who put that on. They said they do it every year. They hiked a couple of years ago and they're just now uh, coming back to do this to uh, kind of give back to what they got. So I can't wait to do the same when I finish. So I'll see you at the shelter. All right. For those of you who don't know, this is a memorial for Audie Murphy. A lot of people remember him from the old cowboy movies, old westerns, and anyway, he died here in a plane crash. This is a monument for him. Audie Leon Murphy, June 20th, 1924, May 28th, 1971. Born in Kingston, Texas, died near this site in an airplane crash. America's most decorated veteran of World War II. He served in the European Theater, 15th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Infantry Division, and earned 24 decorations, including the Medal of Honor, Legion of Merit, Distinguished Service Cross, Three Purple Hearts. He was survived by his wife, Pamela, and two sons, Terry and Michael, and James Shannon. This was erected in 1974 by the veterans of the Foreign Wars, Post 5311, Christiansburg, Virginia. So somewhere near here is where his plane crashed back in the 70s, 71 I think it was. They have a nice little monument here for him. The American flag. Salute all those veterans who have served our country. Thank you for your service.